All right, Blazing Subbins, this one's just below a hand pay, so it's perfect timing to get to hit it, right? That way it doesn't get a W2. That one's just over 1,000. There's another on the other side that's uh, like 1130. Thought about playing that one, but then I saw this one was the bigger number. So why not? Some people like to pick the low numbers because they tend to feel that those hit more often. Uh, and then some people like to play the biggest one or just follow your gut. Boy, that would have been nice. But I'm just playing the biggest one. Uh, but it's true. It does seem there are some Blazing Sevens and Cherry Jubilees that just tend to hit more often than others. Um, and, that, that, and I don't know why, because they are set to the same percentage, you know, same algorithm, same programming, same everything, but just some tend to just hit more often. Um, but I'm playing the biggest one because I want the extra few dollars if I hit it, right? I don't really sit down at Blazing Sevens thinking I'm going to get uh, the three Blazing Sevens, though. It's not something that I've had a lot of success with. Chris and I have got it one time. And we've played it quite a bit. So you'd think for how many times we've played it that we would uh, have hit it more than once. Because I know some people that have hit it, I mean, dozens and dozens of times, but it's a slot that they play. Oh, dang it. That they play majority of. You know, they spend a lot of their time when they go to the casino just playing Blazing Sevens. But, oh, wow, again? I enjoy Blazing Sevens, but I can't play for hours. I mean, I'm probably 10, 15 minutes and I got to move on. Oh, those three red Sevens, they are just all over the place, but on the line together. Wow. I mean, it, that's like the what, fifth, sixth, seventh, twentieth time again? They've been in diagonal. Just, yeah, they've been in all sorts of directions like that. Crazy. I've never seen that before. Where they consistently are showing like that. Some people say that means that they are ready to hit. Um, that's not necessary. Oh my goodness, right there. That would have done it. But it's just the way they land, just showing on the pay line. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that it's due or it's ready to hit. My wife says it's ready. She said, like, yeah, let's do this. Let's get it. I like it. It would be definitely fun to hit it. It's not life-changing money, though, but it'd definitely be fun to... Oh, my gosh, there it is again, to... Uh, Hit the Blazing Summits. I actually personally have never gotten it pushing the button, right? I was with Chris, we were doing it together, and he pushed the button and got it. Well, this isn't giving us much feedback at all. My wife says, let her do it. Yeah, what are we starting with? 240? We're already more than halfway down on Blazing Summits? That's crazy. Normally it gives us a little bit of, you know, some feedback. There we go. You know, get, get some small hits every now and then like that to play a little more. Seven with hair. Hair? That's what it looks like. Ah. I got my glasses on. Well, it's like <laughs> it's, it's fire, but I guess if you want to call it hair. Come on, Blazing Sevens. Put those red sevens together. I'd be happy with that. It's 300 to get the three uh, solid reds together. I should have played the one on the other side that I first was going to play. There's one that was on 11.30. That was the one I was originally going to play. Yeah, I went against my gut on this one. It is all chance, right? Oh, we take a big sevens party. Yeah, your fingers. What do you mean, in the way? Your fingers are in the way. Well, sometimes they are like this. Oh, I 
that's fine. They're, they're not blocking anything. Fingers are fine. Alright, it looks like we are skunking out. Right, right here, do it on this one. Three, three, three. Oh, started off good. Well, hello. All right, we got ten. Finally, a little something. That's our best hit. Is ten? We got it what twice? Three? Yeah. Two, that Two that I can remember. Two that I did. Yeah, I just don't think I got it. I might have gotten it once, but I don't remember. Just have to watch the video. Yeah. All right, we're down. Oh, I thought maybe you'd get it on the last one. All right, we're down to a dollar. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to the one that I should have played or that I wanted to play right over here. I'm hungry. 11.30, see that's at 11.30. We made that other one closer to, to 1,200, it got pretty close. So we got our card in, if we can get our card to work. Sometimes these machines are bad at taking the card. We're gonna put our Oh, maybe I put in that dollar, but maybe that's an unlucky dollar because it was from the other machine. I don't know. Oh, I think it's crunching up the dollar. Hear it? Yeah. Oh no! Is it not gonna? Did we just jam it and not even be able to get to play it? <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, and the bill feeder's just—it's just trying to spin it. Oh in yeah, it definitely crunched it. You can see it in there. Oh. oh. There it goes. Oh my gosh, it came out. Good job, I li babe. I lifted the thing up and I could see it. All right, we're not going to put that unlucky dollar back in there. We're gonna what put if it, it takes $100 and crunches it? Well, then we'll have to call an attendant. I lifted the there thing up. There we go. It has to be lifted oh, up. Oh, we'll lift it up and we'll put yeah. it. All right. That's we're how gonna, I got it out. We're going to try this dollar again. My wife's figured out the slot technique. She's a bill bill whisperer. Yeah. Not All right. be a machine whisperer. 101. 11.30, this is the one we should have started with. Let's do this. Flashlight's not on. Of course, the, Oops. everything's gonna be different because if I'd have played it earlier, everything would have been different, but maybe it was meant to be that I wouldn't play that other one to come to this to one. To lose money. Yeah. So I gotta get three 40s, or I think 240 over there and 100 here. I got 340 just to break even. Do that. Oh. You can't that'd have been 200. At least this one's got a little bit of sound. You're typical. I'll take the sound though. I like a little sound. Plus the speaker yes. above is so seven, loud. Seven, let's go. Yes. Sevens with hair. <laughs> like the glasses make, I know the hair's not on top of the seven. It's so funny. That when you're blind. Well, come on, yeah. buddy. We're off. Turn that on. I don't think we've got anything. Anything. Yeah. Probably were best to not I messed it all up. Go with your gut. Well, we did get two credits. Woohoo. That's gonna pay for me. Right. Ah, uh, there's those three red sevens taunting us again. Alright, it was three, three, three again. Do it on this one. Nope. So that'd be the time to win 300. Yeah. Ah. Always. Come on, do it. Yeah. 
Nothing for Blazing Sevens. Cheapers. Mm. Usually get the mixed sevens one time while Come I play, on, but not today. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, Blazing Sevens got us. We're going to save those uh, progressives for somebody else. Let's go find some more. Let's oh. grab it. All right, we got a little bit of something there. Finally got that $200 mix. Like, ah! My wife and I are just sitting here talking about our dogs. We've got uh, two dogs, and that's why I was like, well, I'm just sitting here, I'm gonna throw in another 100 bucks, hit this. But anyways, we've got two dogs that, uh, <laughs> one's a Mall She and the other one's a Purebred Shih Tzu. And uh, we just basically found out that the girl's pregnant. We did not want them to be pregnant. So the whole timing of when they're gonna have these puppies and everything is gonna be very challenging with our schedule. And so we're sitting here talking about what are we going to do? And of course, while we're talking about that, I threw in our bucks and we're just pushing the button as we're talking because my ADHD or lack of ADHD, I don't know. I just got to push a button while I'm talking to you. We're sitting in front of a slot machine. Got to push a button. It's the gaming child the of gaming, the 80s. Yeah. So anyways, so I captured the very end of it, right? I uh, just want to share that with you on the end of the video. So we at least did get something. Uh, so that's good. But yeah, kind of, kind of crazy. You know, we got these dogs and they're gonna have these puppies and we're not ready for that. Um, between some work and family reunion, we're like, oh, what are we gonna do? So, yeah, any thoughts? I don't know, do we travel with a litter of puppies? That doesn't sound super exciting. It might not be a great idea. And of course, leaving someone home is not a great, you know, that's not a fun idea. It's not fair for them, so. Anyways, that's our real world problem, not your guys' real world problem. But hey, we're just puppies sharing. Puppies for with, sale. Yeah, puppies for sale. We're just trying to <laughs> try to share. Uh, um, oh, while I was just sitting here life. talking, and then pushing the button, and didn't capture. There's no, I don't. Blazing Seven is not something I walk up to, put in a hundred bucks and play without the camera on. Pinball and Top Dollar, pretty much the only machines I do that to. I know. Now there's often I all I capture is the pinball win and people will be like, hey, why didn't you capture it? And I understand it's funner to actually see the capture. But really I don't play a lot of pinball top dollar anymore and sit down and actually do a session with it. Um, I do every once in a while just because I want it for the videos, but I just, it's kind of the way I play them. I walk by, throw in a hundred bucks and hope I get top dollar or pinball. And if not, I, I run away and move on. I just don't sit down. Oh, oh man. That would have been awesome. I would have broken even if I'd have gotten it. Well, at least I made a hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm stopping here. Okay. I at least made a hundred dollars with the last hundred bucks. So anyways, real life challenges with our puppies. We're just kind of figuring it out because it's kind of put us in a hard place of like, what are we gonna do with these puppies? Because uh, they'll be way too young to get rid of uh, when we got our traveling schedules. Anyways, that's that's Kyra and I in a nutshell there for at the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed some Blazing Sevens. Glad we did get that, wanted to share that with you. So it wasn't a total bust. Got a little bit of that money back. All right, thanks for being our friends. We appreciate it. Let's go friends. <laughs> <laughs>